going on, everyone? It's Fritz Lux and Nick Snyder from the Viewer's hey, Voice. Bitches. You won't believe the drama. Oh. Before we get into the drama, this video is sponsored the house by Surfshark VPN. You can use code LUX for 83% off. And because it's Black Friday, fast approaching, you will also get three additional months for free. So you can protect your bank information. You can watch Netflix in different regions of the country. So definitely check out Surfshark VPN. It's an amazing company. Honestly, I'm so passionate about Surfshark VPN, whether you're at your doctor's office or you're out shopping about for the holiday season. It is so important, you guys, to protect your financial information. And a lot of times people don't care about this type of stuff until it already happened to them until they've already been attacked until they've already lost some financial information then they start to care about services like surfshark vpn and surfshark vpn not just protects your financial information when you're on public wi-fi but also you can log in and be in different countries so you can shop online you can watch netflix in different countries and you can catch things that you normally wouldn't catch. And I like it because you can catch up on news from different parts of the world. So the Surfshark VPN is an amazing service. Um, look into it, I'll put the link down below. You can save some money, three months for free, 83% off, you can use my code. I really think you're gonna like it. So thank you Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video. All right, we are inside Teresa Romer's million dollar closet, the world's Wait, largest closet. There's Wait. a new title though, it was Feature. Under Shane Dawson episode, <laughs> the, the finale Come showed on, up, girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Hey, bitch. So, my, my closet was featured, but not me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have some special news before we get into the drama. We have a party. We have the first annual influencers holiday event coming up on I'm December so here in her mansion. Yes, and we have close to 300 top-notch influencers coming in from all over the world. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we still have some tickets available. Get so your as tickets a down micro below. influencer, if you want to come, come party with us with all the influencers, you can buy a ticket. All proceeds go to Elijah Rising mm -hmm. to help combat human sex trafficking. So we're going to make sure the link is listed below so you can get yes. your ticket. Yes. Yes. Come party right. with all of us, girl. Bye, Teresa. Bye. So thank you, Teresa, for having yeah. us in your closet. Yes, thank you. I have some notes here because we're going to talk about James Charles. Oh, girl, what is he up um, to now? Okay, let's talk about James Charles' show and why it could possibly, not that it will, flop. I have my my receipt Hold right on. here. Before um, we get into all that, I really feel like we need to keep the same energy. <laughs> keep the same energy. <laughs> Shirt, that merch is coming soon. I guys. can't wait. It's going to be okay. so good. All right, so um, it, it's starting to look like everyone who is not cool with Jeffree Star will be in this uh, James Charles TV show. I'm starting to get that vibe. Okay, and so you, you had... He had a really good opinion about who was going to be on the show. Name him. Well, you know. No, nah, name him. Okay. Manny Muet, Laura Leech. Leech. Manny Mooch. <laughs> Manny Mooch, Laura Leech. I think that Gabriel is going to make an appearance mm -hmm. for sure. Uh, who is the other one? Nikita. Now, these are our predictions. Nikita. And we're always kind of right. Well, I think that Manny will for sure be a judge. I don't know so much oh about Laura. God. I don't know about Laura because she's not exciting. She's not riveting, at least in my opinion. Sorry, guys, if yeah. you're a little upset about Here's that. Here's the but. thing. If James Charles is going to have Manny Moots, Laura okay. Leach, Nikita Dragon, Gabriel Zamora as guest judges or judging the show, this is boring the house. He needs to have, like, I don't know. He need, yeah, it's like best friends race. Best friends he needs to have some shady guest judges. He needs to have, like, maybe, like, Naomi Campbell or something. Or like, I don't know. She would never. Mark Jacobs, like Pete, Michael Kors, like have somebody no. in the makeup industry, Chi Chi from Juviet's Place. Like, oh, that one get some see. makeup CEOs. Linda from Morphe. We haven't really seen her personality. Jacqueline Hill. Jacqueline She's Hill. She's a CEO, girl. You know what I'm saying? I, I would love to see some new, some CEOs in there. You know, like maybe Hank and Henry, the CEO for Hank and Henry. Like this... Because if you're just going to have your friends on there... It's boring to me. It seems boring. But out of everyone, who's going to bring the drama? Because there's always one you judge on to... these shows that like, says something. And it's something. not going to be James because he's going to be so nice. His, his, James Charles will come across very nice and sweet 
on the show. He's not gonna be. He's not gonna play the villain or the bad guy. That's why he needs to pin it off on someone who's gonna say something shady. Nice and sweet. <laughs> and on camera, okay, you know well. what I'm saying. I'm not saying off camera, but yeah. I'm just saying our prediction. Mark our words. Screen record this. Our predictions are he's gonna be Manny Moots, Laura Leeds, Gabriel Zamora, and Akia Dragon are gonna be judges on the show. So boring the house. It's where, why not have Jeffree Star? Jeffree Star, Shane, <laughs> Shane Dawson, Dawson Tati Morgan, Westbrook. Tati Westbrook. Oh my gosh. Plus, they had a falling out with The editing shows. guy. <laughs> Come on. Oh my gosh. But you get know what? Andrew, get Rylan. Oh get Ryland. some of these people on there. Get people from Clever News. Like, bring mm. the drama. Or else people are going to tune out. Well, from what I understood from this whole entire thing, I thought that it was going to be micro-influencers. Oh, my god! Micro-influencers. A micro-influencer to me is someone who maybe has a few thousand, maybe 10,000 tops. Maybe we'll do 50,000 because he said 50,000 in his Snapchat about this. Yeah. So 50,000 followers tops and they want to get like the recognition for their work and all that. And now there's this rumor because James commented back to Thomas Halbert that he was the first contestant. Thomas Halbert has like 500,000 subscribers. He has a ton of followers. He's friends with Tati. He's friends with everyone. That's not a micro influencer. He's kind of made in the sense that he can get sponsorships. He, people know his work and all that. I want to see fresh faces. I don't want to see people that he's Was this meant with. to spite Jeffree Star? Yes. Let's just put it out there. I know I'm going to keep this name. <laughs> Was this meant to, to, to spite Jeffree Star with this whole entire show? Off the heels of... Uh, drama. Get it. Drama. Get it. But off the heels of Shane Dawson's documentary... Ooh. Then you drop yours, James. Like, the timing is like, I'm going to get more views than her. Well, you like, know people throw shade at James because Jeffrey right earlier this year said that he was going to start giving smaller influencers recognition and putting yeah. it on his channel and all this. And now Listen. James has come up with this groundbreaking idea that Nikki Tutorials already did. And uh, Nikki Tutorials has done a makeup reality show before. The Glow Up and or something? Yeah. In fact, it was Elle Flower did a makeup competition show and Shane Dawson was in it. That's how long ago it was. She is a beauty guru, used to be. A, she doesn't really post that much anymore. But yeah, okay. it was Elle and Blair. If you're old school YouTube, you know about Elle and Blair. They were sisters and they were like dominating. Oh, I look them up. They were dominating YouTube. And it just kind of like fizzled out a little bit. You know? I think that happens to a lot of people because mm -hmm. their views get like stagnant. Yeah, you have to keep it fresh and new. I applaud James. It's not a negative video for keeping it fresh and new. But we are just spectating, spectators. And I'm like, if this is going to work, you got to bring the drama. And people are going to roll their eyes if you bring Nikita, Manny Mooch, Laura Too many friends. Like, have your friends on there. But if you are going to have judges, I don't think it should all be friends. You, you know who else is going to have? That wolf guy. Joey Graceffa. Oh. <laughs> Remember he made that whole video about being sick or yeah, something? I don't know what. Oh job. my god! No, yeah. I know what you're talking about, but I think they were like canker swords or something. Yeah, whatever. I her, like swords have her. her. She's okay. gonna have Joey Graceffa, and she don't even pull any views either. I hope he's. Better. And then Joey Graceffa's uh, boyfriend's probably gonna. He wants to sneak on the show too. Oh. Uh, I mean, I'm just saying. It's just all, like, girl, come on. One. You know what? Know. You should get have the CEO of YouTube on there too. That no, would, don't do that. I would like to see her. I wouldn't. <laughs> Because she needs to start fixing things that are on YouTube before she goes on a makeup competition <laughs> show, girl. She needs to stop being best friends with these influencers. That yeah. mm -hmm, we could say that. She in did, video. I just feel like who would you like to see on James Charles panel of judges? Jeffrey Star. Jeffrey Star. RuPaul. Oh, <laughs> can you imagine? RuPaul. I wonder if James has Rich like, Luck. Yeah. Ri no. No. No, because then you won't be on the payroll. Mm. You can't be on there, girl. I don't want to be. I don't want to be canceled like Kesha. <laughs> Kesha is now canceled. I just want everybody to know she's now canceled officially. Can we side note real quick? Yeah. Are you excited for the Kesha makeup? No. Have you seen any of it? No. Either way. Don't care. No. Don't, whatever. I I would I want to see Gigi Gorgeous on there. See what she has to say. I think she's been opinionated, and I, I don't think she's afraid to say something shady and get hate or whatever. Do you think Lipstick Nick? Will make oh, it Lipstick Nick will be on there. But mm. I, if Lipstick Nick is on the show, hear me out. Okay. She needs to say something like, I don't like your makeup. It's busted. It's horrible. Because if she comes off too nice, she's just like James. I mean, can you imagine everyone sitting on this panel of judges and being like, it was beautiful. You need I at least agree one with person James. to spice it, was it up. Nice. Yeah. And it, it, of, the, of the current roster that we have in our head, it'll be Nikita Dragon that will say something shady. 
Because we're crazy and we're sitting around thinking about this. Yeah. Like, literally this is, thinking about no, this. No, this is, be. like, insane. Yeah, like, I'm already picking who he's going to pick. It's no mystery to me. I want to see... Rich Lux. No. <laughs> who, who, what is his name? Like, Cole's World. Cole's World. Um, How many followers does he have? Is he eligible? I don't know. I want to see him on there and I Blanche want him to read. Blanche Devereaux. Yeah, Blanche Devereaux of the beauty world. Because I yeah. feel that Cole looks like Blanche Devereaux. A little bit. That's not shade. That's not I love shade. Blanche Devereaux. Have Blanche Devereaux on there, but Cole. The time I have met Cole, he came across very nice. So oh. I don't think he can be shady on the show. I just want to see now, him clickbaiting. If he wants to be shady, just hear me out. He probably won't have these people, but if he wants to be shady and bring the drama, he needs to. And you're, I know you're gonna roll your eyes. He needs to bring. Um, Cole Kerrigan. I was just thinking in my head, like, I hope he does not have Cole Kerrigan. Cole Kerrigan will bring the drama. Uh, Eden the Doll will bring the drama. No. Blair White will bring the drama. Oh, like, yes, these are people who would bring the drama. And you have to have this mix or else everyone's going to be like, I love everything is sunshine and rainbows. Like that. You know what I'm saying? Well, we definitely disagree on that one. Yeah, we do. I but don't think that Cole Kerrigan or Eden the Doll should be on this show. You guys, put it in the comments down yeah. below. Everyone needs to, ha needs to say... Je Jeffree Star should be on this show. Oh my god, everyone go comment on the video. <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of the day, Jeffree Star is not going to do it. No. Okay? He should come out with Maybe his for own like, makeup competition before. Jeffree Star should have his own competition show and run it. And then if Jeffree Star has his competition show, he would have some shady good judges. Like I could just, I could just see Jeffree just sitting there all snatch. The only judge. If he blinks, he likes it. If he blinks twice, he doesn't mm. like it. And that's all. Every, all everyone else would say, yes, no, 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 no. Horrible look. <laughs> yeah. You, you you wouldn't be able to read Jeffrey if he likes the person or not. You're like, I don't know. Did he like mm. it or did he not? I don't know. Like, I don't know. Did we bury that? <laughs> I'm trying to, like, think of who I would really want to be a judge on this thing. I and want Linda from Morphe on no. there. And I want her to be shady. I want Jacqueline Hill. I want Jacqueline Hill. I want Jacqueline Hill because I do think that Jacqueline has a funny personality. Like, I think we would actually jokes. see how yeah. quirky and funny she really is. Yeah. And I think that it, it would be a good PR move on Jeff, uh, Jeffrey, on Je Jacqueline Hill's side mm -hmm. because we get to see her yeah. interact with people, which yeah. is rare. And, on, <laughs> yeah, just, and honestly, I think that Manny would be a good fit. I do think, because Manny can throw some shade. Oh, Manny, can th Manny can throw some shade. Girl, it's not going to be a hit show anyways. Come back over here, girl. No, Where are you going? Tired of these chicken shit games. Where are you going, girl? <laughs> tired of these chicken shit games. I am suing. Right Manny now. Mooch. I think that Manny would be good because he can throw a little bit of shade. He's a little corny, but he can throw oh, some shade. Um, who else would I like to see? Who's friends with? Oh, I don't want to see that little assistant of James on there. I don't oh want to my see that. God. Unless he's running to get some water, like a PA. I don't yeah. want to see him on that show, girl. I can't. He's like, too much. <laughs> He, no. But I don't know. I, I think this is a very good video because I want people in the comments to type who would you want to see as guest judge? A lot of, have you seen on Twitter people are tagging you as a guest judge? Oh, I would do it, girl. I'll for, do it. What, for 10K yeah. because we're not going to move for free. Oh, I, no. You know what? I would do it for free. Oh, God. I would she, do it for she's, free. She's a cheap girl. Just to watch James' face the whole fucking time because I'd be like, are you competing? You, you know what I would I do? I mean, you can't do your own makeup looks to save your life. Okay, mm. you be James Charles okay. and you say it was a good look. Okay. okay, so the contestant comes down the runway and then here I go. You brought that makeup look down the runway with that busted ass eyeshadow? And then go James Charles. Sister, um, you know, it's very pretty, but you know what? Did you Photoshop that second eye? Because I would have to save time. <laughs> then the camera goes to me. James, I, you're the one to talk with that busted ass eyeshadow too. <laughs> you know what, shady sister? <laughs> Cut that off. <laughs> Cut. There we go. That's the thing. Like, I'll read everybody. Oh, mm -hmm. Busted ass runway look. Jay's showing up. You brought that to the oh, show. Girl. That's what you're wearing. And I don't want to see James Charles wear that one I white outfit. The one high. Oh, oh my gosh. Get Some a new the, friend. I could just see James Wait. Charles. First challenge is a uh, red carpet look. Ass out. Ass out. <laughs> girl. I want pimples on the butt. <laughs> you need to reenact my razor burn in between these thighs. Oh, and we're good. Coachella 2018, okay. girl. Next look. You've been accused of something bad. <laughs> Give us a makeup look on your apology video. But something funny like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need to see his challenges. 
are going to be fun. It will be entertaining. I will be watching. Hopefully, you'll be watching too. I hope they're not like the challenges for the PR get. Remember? Oh my god! Asking yeah. the trivia about James. How about himself? You know he's full. The only thing I don't like is James is gloating in this. He's like, yes, yes, it's about me. It's about me now. Yes, and I'm just like, girl, come no, on. Cares. Do you think he's upset Marlena's uh, documentary comes out? I want Marlena to be a judge. Ooh. Marlena Stale from Makeup Geek CEO. Put her on there. I want Jen Gerard. I want, you want no, Jen Gerard, love her so much, but she will have nothing negative to say. She'll be so oh, super nice. Oh, I know. Too. Yeah, she'll be so nice. She won't She won't bring the drama. She's a Christian. She's a Christian woman, girl. Very but he's, like I said, he needs to bring a panel of judges who will bring the drama, and that's not all his friends. And there has to be tension. There has to be conflict. Because that's what every good show needs. I don't think there will be. Yeah, if it's just all sparkles and unicorn and rainbows, it's boring. It's just boring. How do you... I'm just disappointed that YouTube picked... No offense to YouTube, but I wanted this to be on Netflix or no. something. Or HBO or something like that. I don't know. But you know what? Maybe this is like a test. Like maybe James is like, let's do it on YouTube. It's a safe bet. People, the audience is there. People will watch it. I don't know if it's YouTube Red or what. Is it an original? Yeah. Okay. So people have to get premium. So please come watch my videos. Yeah. They're always demonetized. But I wonder if it's like a stepping stone to in the future, maybe like a Bravo yeah, or like a that. logo or whatever network it is. That's the ones I'll be on, guest judge. <laughs> <laughs> Not those chicken shit gigs Not on YouTube, chicken girl. Shit YouTube gig, girl. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wanted to say, do you guys think this is a good idea for Jane Charles to do the show? I do think so. I think so too. I think it's good. I think it's creative. It's he fun. did not create it though. Well, it is a creative idea. He did yeah. not create it. Like he tried to say it was going to flip it. It's never been done, girl. It has been done. It has been um, before. I think it's nice. I love the fact that he is someone who has 60 million subscribers is going to give a platform to smaller influencers. I just hope it's not all his friends. I want to see people oh, that maybe oh. we've never seen before. Guys, check this out. This whole time we have been talking about People who we think should be judges. And were and, judges. And, and should it be judges. Should or should it. This whole time, not one person crossed our mind, which was Patrick Starr. Can you see that? How easily forgettable that was? <laughs> Can you so imagine? Shady. That is shady. And this is coming from the heart. I, I, I just thought of Patrick Starr. I thought about him earlier, but I don't want to see him as a judge. Really? I think that Patrick is, while his views are not there... I think that Patrick, and that's not shade, that's the fact, you can go look, but I think that he's happy doing what he's doing because, you know, he's managing people. He's also putting out these amazing videos and I think he's happy. I don't want to see him on those. Really? No. I would like to see he's Patrick. Show, I, so. Let me tell you what, Patrick Starr needs growth. It's repetitive. It's boring. It's the same silhouette at every red carpet, the turban, the dress that goes like this. Like it's the same thing. No offense. Love Patrick Starr. I met Patrick Starr one time. Super nice. His team was amazing. I was just thinking right, right that. guy. But I it's saw a, his AMA. Did you see the AMA? It's the same silhouette. The gold? Yeah. I, I just like, kind of feel like Patrick Starr should be on the show and redefine his character and be a little shady and get out there. And I think people will be like, oh my God, I, love, I live for Patrick's shady comments. Do you think that, while we're on Patrick real quick, <laughs> do you think that Patrick is throwing shade at people, trying to get people to talk about it now? Yes, and it's working. Works? Yes, and it's working. But is it working in his favor? Mm. That's the question. I want to, obviously not because we're not talking about, we we totally like missed him in this whole conversation. Mm. But when he does do it, when Patrick Starr does throw drama or shade, it moves waves. Yeah. Like he is to be reckoned with. Like there's some people, like a lot of times in people's career, you want to be a force to be reckoned with. And yeah. when you're not, you get angry when people overlook you. Yeah. You're like, wow, my God, how come they're not noticing me? Patrick Starr, I think, has solidified himself as somebody who can create a wave in the beauty community if he gets upset or throws shade. Right? Do you feel that way? Okay. I think he's there. I think he's there. But sometimes he doesn't do it all the time, so we tend to forget about Patrick sometimes in the same silhouette. He's doing great things. I just feel personally, and I talked to you about this off camera, I feel like Patrick Starr, there's there needs to be a next evolution to Patrick Starr. Yeah. And I think it would be a makeup line. Needs, it needs to be something else, like maybe have his own restaurant, his own business. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Well, he has I his own business. I don't know. Yeah. He's Girl. managing the YouTubers, which is lucrative. Mm. I don't want to see a Patrick Starr makeup line. I don't. I do. I I, what he needs no, next. Patrick it's not, Starr needs makeup it's line. It's not a safe bet. Okay, how about a restaurant, a shoe line, a clothing line, a wig line? Like, there has to be something else for Patrick. But he needs to do more math. Stop the vlogs. Please. I don't like the vlogs. I don't watch them. <laughs> yeah. But, I watch his... 
reviews, but the vlogs, I'm just like, oh, people and the audience are like, oh. People love his Mac collabs. Yeah. So I would keep doing that, girl. Play safe, Matt. Don't be a jackal. Don't. <laughs> don't, don't do that, girl. But I, I want to see Patrick Starr as a judge. I don't know. Do you, and you don't or you do? Not a nice judge, a shady judge. I think he would bring the shade. Let me tell I you what. If Patrick Starr goes on the show, he will steal the show from James Charles. And, and that's that, why he won't be a judge. And that's why he won't be a judge because there's something about Patrick Starr. Like when Patrick Starr owns a room, mm. when you see, I've seen Great Patrick energy. Starr at, at DragCon. Oh, hold on. Uh, sorry, Patrick Starr calling. Yeah, One second, please. Yes. i seen Patrick Starr on a show. Let me see it here. <laughs> oh, it's from Dallas, Texas. Ooh. See who this is. Uh huh. Hello. Wait. Hello. Uh huh. You don't say. Oh. Exclusive receipt. Oh shit. How much do you want for this receipt? Oh, you're shopping around stores. Okay. Well, let me think about it. I think it's kind of pricey, but we'll talk about it. Bye. Girl. Okay. Back to Patrick Star. I feel he needs to push the needle, push himself okay. further. Because I feel like he has done so much. Amazing career. That, what is next? But, before I got interrupted, he owns the room. I seen him at DragCon. He has this aura about him where everyone just looks at him. You cannot ignore him. You see him. You notice him. I mean, you see the turban. The You know, it's huge. And you're like, wow, who is that? You want to know who it is. Being on the show, he will dominate the camera. And James Charles will play second fiddle. That's his next thing. What? A line of turbans. Oh, like that's what he's known for. Like, oh, think Patrick Star, Star, he has a turban on. Why are there no turbans? Well, yeah, I know he gets some custom made, but yeah. he could easily make. But like, not just a small demographic of people who wear turbans. Not but everyone people, wears. People it. still buy it. Yeah, people, and it, it is kind of fishy because if I wore a turban, oh, people would be like, I'm offending a community. Oh, girl. you know, you get into that whole entire thing. I get it though. But I just feel I like get it, but people Patrick Starr, I would like to see him on the show and be shady, but I think that he's such a force to be reckoned with that James Charles would be non-existent next to Patrick Starr. And that's why he won't be a judge. Yeah. I mean, if you even think about him, like Patrick Starr is taller and bigger and James is off small and tiny, so it's, it doesn't really add up. They would have to put him like at the end where he has his own camera. <laughs> you know, there's, there's dynamics okay, to it. But maybe. I think that there might be like the judges, but then there's probably going to be people coming in like mentoring. So maybe Patrick could be a mentor. There you and, like, go. And you take like a few and you're like, okay, this is the look you want to do. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's what I see Nikita doing as well. Oh. I don't see Nikita being a judge, love her so much, but mm -hmm. no, I, no. I'm excited for it. I will watch it because obviously I would like some tea to talk yeah, about. Yeah, I would like it. That's going to be we'll our next it. segment. And maybe we oh, can do a recap. Show. We can, yeah. Let maybe. us know down below if you want an after show of the James Charles series. Yeah. Let us know the after party. Get it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I thought after party. No, that is funny. Okay, okay. Funny. it's a good one. It's a good one. <laughs> Trademark right now. Trademark. <laughs> Trademark right now. Cause... I don't know. So we we did the Shay Dawson conspiracy palette drama. We did. We covered it all. Mm -hmm. Maybe if y'all guys want to see it, let us know. Leave a comment. Who your judges should should be? Um, I'm kind of sad that Jeffrey's not going to be in it. Neither is Shane. Like, I want them to bring the drama. Do you think Shane is going to do a series bringing the beauty community together? And it's going to be a sit down? Like, even if it's just like a two Wait, is there rumors series. about it? No, I'm just not. Oh, you're just thinking about it? I don't know if there are rumors, but what if it's like a two part series? It's going to be Jeffrey, Shane, Tati, and James all in one room and Susan somewhere in the back <laughs> just to come in and say, <laughs> You're not demonetized anymore. And Linda for more. Yeah. And Jacqueline. But what? That would be so. Yeah, that would be good. I'll be watching that one for sure. And even if people don't come together at the end, at least we've worked through our differences and there's that. Mm -hmm. I would love it. Oh, girl. I would love it. But a lot of times these people, they have huge egos oh. and they're not going to move. That's, just the way, that's how it is in every community. Yeah. You know? a lot, And some people won't move unless there's money behind it. You know? Oh, you well, want they... me on your show? You want to like... It, you want to, like, expose me and I can ruin my career? You're going to paint me in negative light? You're not even going to pay me? Mm. Like, there's all that involved. I'm not getting ruined and for free. Is, a lot of these people... Yeah, I'm not going to get ruined for free. And a lot of these times, these people, they have brands and reputations to go that go with it. They want to protect their brand and protect yeah. their reputation. But anyways, let us know what you think about the James Charles TV show flop. And our after show. And our after show idea. Let us know who you think should be on it. What do you think about the people we've named? And yeah, that, another her? person, Kathleen Lai. No. We never even mentioned her. There's so many beauty gurus, Nicole Guerrero, that we just... What about Jackie Aina? Jackie Aina, we didn't even mention. 
She would be. She I would think she'd bring the drama. She would bring drama. I support Jackie Iron on that show. Yeah. That'd be good. James, That'd be, if you're watching, I would like to see her. But but also like other people. There's other influencers too that I would love to see on the show who I feel can bring the drama. Not ten But Rosa. everybody wants to be super nice and happy and that's boring. That bores me. Yeah. James has that role of the of the nice positive one on the show. There needs to be conflict. And y'all guys know that. And you know it too. I know it too, but yeah. I, I, it's That's, such an act. Yeah, it, <laughs> <laughs> it's such an act. Right? Oh, okay, but you know what? I feel like James Charles is a one man show. He could just be the shady judge, be the good judge, all in one. I you imagine know. that's what it is. It's just him. It's just him in different makeup looks and different shirts and just like different personalities. Different stolen looks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Okay, if you enjoyed Nick and his banter, I'll leave his link down below. And uh, check out the link to everything down below. <laughs> everything is down there, girl. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.